Hey, what's up? It's Mark. You're going to like this one. I put a lot of time into this. This is a tribute and motivational video about one of my favorite guitar players, Dino Cazares of Fear Factory. Also of Asesino, Brujeria, uh, Divine Heresy, you name it. Uh, this is a caricature drawing I did of him and some screen grabs. I did uh, grab some audio from uh, Chris Garza uh, his podcast. Go check out their channel. I did take it from their channel, the audio only. It is uh, Garza Clips uh, on YouTube. Garza Clips uh, podcast on YouTube with Dino. Uh, first time I ever saw Fear Factory, I didn't really know what to make of them. Um, I was at the QE2 in Albany, New York. It was 94 or 1995, um, and they were playing with one of my favorite bands, uh, Stigmata, here from Troy, New York, right here. And uh, Fear Factor, I was like, I didn't know what to make of them. And then I was like blown away because they sounded like nothing I've ever, ever, ever heard of before. And uh, yeah, that being said, uh, here's the video. Enjoy the video. Thank you. <laughs> Of course. I mean, I had a job, so I had to go to work. And then, and then I had to go to work. Working. I had to go to work. I'd come home, and then the days that we didn't rehearse, I jammed at home, you know. And then uh, I'd get on the bus and go to rehearsal. We rehearsed at least four to five days a week, me and Raymond. Wow. Yeah. How long? There was times where I would just say, you know, bass player, stay home, singer, stay home. Me, just leave me and Raymond, and we'll fucking get it all done. And we just... We connected really well, and so we got stuff done quick. On like a Monday, like how long are you just focused on you practicing like your technique? Like you're just you're just sit there, practice. I'm I'm doing riffs. I'm writing. I'm I'm. I don't know if you do scales or all like, the time. Any any minute I had. You were obsessed. Yes, of course. Wow. I even like there was even a time where I was working at a record store, right? Mm -hmm. And I would be sitting at the record store, and I would bring my guitar. And I'd jam at the record store. Then when somebody want to want need assistance I would help him next level <laughs> that is so next I, level. I was just doing it all the time and so that's that was the thing you know I just had one of those gig bags and I take it you know to to the to my work you know so whenever I had a minute I could do it 